Welcome back. This expedition takes us from one marina to another. Here we transition out of our old marina into our current marina. And due to that change, we decided to make an expedition out of it. Although it was cool in the morning, the afternoon still got pretty warm. So the pool itself at the marina, not very user friendly. <laughs> As a result, the kids decided they wanted to modify the dinghy and make that a small pool. Why didn't you take off your shorts? walking up and both of us playing on our phones. <laughs> it's on. The next morning we were awoken by a storm moving in. It lasted a short time but brought a lot of rain with it. That rain let us find a few new leaks. We definitely wanted to take advantage of the situation. So we decided we were going to go anchor out, awesome. kind of enjoy the bay a little, see places we haven't seen. Traveling through the bay to the island, we managed to have a light snack put together by Joni. She's very fond of her cheese boards. Emma's still up in the air about them.
So we decided to explore a chain of man-made islands that were created when they dredged the Houston Ship Channel. <laughs> One of these islands was recommended by a friend. Damn, actually, they would be cool right there to see how shallow that is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it just goes into, that's why the beach is there. We fondly named this piece of real estate Raccoon Island, and you can clearly see why the name was so fitting. Damn it. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Make friends. That means there's lots of them on that island. <laughs> That's why no one comes here. Uh -huh. He is a raccoon. He is big and fat. Can you see the beach, guys? No. Yeah, there's somebody on there. Where? On the beach? Once we got to our destination, we set anchor, and the kids were really looking forward to going to that beach. I saw a little movement on the shore and I wanted to make sure it was going to be safe before we set out to go explore. They got guns. What, is it laying there? Although we were pretty far off, it was tough to tell exactly what it was. And I thought for a moment there might be a wild dog or maybe somebody's somebody's dog swam out, got stuck on the island. So we began to formulate a plan to rescue it or save it or who knows, run from it. We set out and headed for the beach. Everything was going great. Nice soft sand. Couldn't understand why more people weren't there. Mother Nature decided to trap us. Yeah, so here we are stuck on this island that's just overrun with these daytime sun-bleached raccoons. And uh, as we stood on the sand, we realized that uh, a big migration of jellyfish were slowly washing ashore. We quickly came up with a plan to get the kids back in the raft while I was exposed to the jellyfish. And then we quickly went back to the boat and spent the rest of the time 
looking at the island, oh, trying to figure out like, what went wrong. <laughs> That's a good one. We did the live, like I pressed it on this one. <laughs> and then on yours, Parker just says. <laughs> well, that's definitely not an island you want to hang out too long on. You need to tell Rob right now. I didn't do anything yet. Oh, you didn't press record? No. I'll have to do it over. Action. Are you recording? Yes. Good morning. friends from the island.
Thank you. 